We welcome you to Atlanta where tonight at Gas South Arena, the surging Atlanta vibe can become the first team in the Pro Volleyball Federation to rack up a five-match win streak standing in their way. The Orlando Valkyries who will be looking to avenge a pair of five-set losses to the vibe earlier this season. Round number three tonight between Atlanta and Orlando. As we welcome you inside Gas South Arena, Andy Demetri, Keeley, Evelyn, Keeley, Vibe still atop the Pro Volleyball Federation standings, but so much parity throughout the league. Case in point, those two earlier matchups versus the Valkyries both went to five sets. Valkyries really want this match today because they had multiple set points in their last matchup against Atlanta. Atlanta looking strong, really consistent in their lineup with what Coach Dagenet is putting out. Boy, no team closes out sets better than the Vibe. 12-0 this year in Cessna decided by two points this meeting will again feature two of the most fun to watch high flyers in the pro volleyball federation and oh by the way they're both five foot seven let's begin with the valkyries jill gillen one of the best competitors you will find in the pro volleyball federation gillen jumps high able to work around the block she is feared among the lead as her competitive spirit shines and ready to go today as for the vibe legator member mena the second year pro continuing to assert herself from the outside putting up 23 points against orlando member mena's passing dimes as good as any libero on the court 24 percent of her passes go perfectly to the setter the speed in her attack is what makes her a fan favorite get ready for a legator Remember many so both of these teams looking to climb the standings and for Atlanta to stay atop the league standings. Third matchup of the season between Atlanta and Orlando. We'll give you your starting lineups, keys to the match, and first serve from Gas South Arena. It's all coming up next. Baby, I'm a big deal. I got it like that. Fresh off the plane with a new money buddy. My hair stay late and you know I get paid. Hundred dollar bills like I racks on the way. I'm making them big moves, I won't stay quiet. Five foot six, but I feel like a giant. I got the source, I am the supplier. I can make them boys sing like being in the choir. I'm on top and I'm taking it higher. NCAA women's volleyball will never be the same. Students of the game will study this era for generations. But we are only getting started. Sign up for pre-sale news and more at NCAA.com slash volleyball. Looking like a baddie, I show up and make them stop. Wanna know my name so badly, cause I want this whole block. Gear up with the official Pro Collection apparel today. Available exclusively at renathletics.com and provolleyballshop.com. Pro Volleyball Federation, where every action carries the weight of passion and pride. There's a select group that rises above the rest. 23 athletes of the Pro Volleyball Federation are past or current members of the USA Women's National Volleyball Team. Each a testament to dedication, skill, and relentless pursuit of excellence. Pro Volleyball Federation, building champions and making dreams a reality. It's thrilled because one of their best players is also one of the best players in the world. We get a chance to see Alicia Glass Childress laser that goes over. Alicia Glass children helped get that nice Vegas looking for their first set of the day. They've got it for Grand Rapids. Glass Childers with a sneak attack. Sour Glass Childers Bell. And the Vegas Thrill come back to life, winning each of the last three sets. And we're Baby, I'm a big deal. I got it Federation action. Let's take a look at those league standings. Atlanta's last loss was at home on February 29th when they were swept by the Supernovas. They extended their win streak to four last Thursday versus Omaha with a four-set win, which they had a kill percentage of 41%. As for Orlando, five and seven. Their last match also came versus the Supernovas. They fell in four in front of a Pro Volleyball Federation record at 12,000 fans at CHI Health Center. But even Amy Paul and their head coaches said, rightfully so, Keeley, they have faced a gauntlet this early season. They played 12 matches, half of them have come against the top two teams in the standings, the Vibe and the Supernovas. It's one thing when you're going against a top team, it's another that you're still trying to figure out your lineup and making everything set. 
obviously going against the top two teams, you show those areas that you need to work on in practice, but Coach Polly is ready for today. She wants this match for her team to pull off the W. First two matchups between the five and boundaries came January 26th in Orlando, and then February 26th here in Atlanta, but these two teams drastically different. And you'll see it in some of the starting lineups. We'll begin with the boundaries, and while you will still see plenty of Wilma Rivera, and Coach Amy Pauly going with her second-year pro, Carly Graham, and said her likes the way the offense is running behind the Boomer Rice out. You need to get that consistency in the setter role. So starting with Graham, that pop off of her hands, you're going to see a nice, fast offense coming out of those hands. I think it's a good choice to go against Atlanta Vibe. And, of course, Adora Anai on the hand, the 60 year pro from Utah, had a season-high 13 points against the Vibe back on February 12th, averaging 17.7 kills per match. And as for Atlanta, they played those first two matches versus Orlando without what is turned into a fearsome tandem. Ana Lasareva at the outside, Magda Yamahashiva, the middle blocker, decorated at Washington State. Those two will certainly factor in heavily tonight. This is a different Atlanta Vibe team that you saw in the first couple matches. You loaded up in that middle and right side attack. Now you have center Montserrat getting the start as well. A very consistent lineup Vibe is going with. And of course, on your screen, you have Morgan Hens, one of the best, best Libros in the nation, showing up day in and day out for her team. Ana Lasariva, team high 18 kills in that win over the Supernova. She's had five double doubles in her six matches with the Vibe this season. Let's go into your keys. Keely, we caught up with head coach Todd Dagene of the Vibe, head coach Amy Pauly of the Valkyries. How do you see this match unfolding? Valkyries are strong in the metal attack. There's dominance there. You have to produce offense. And then blocks and block touches will be key. You know Atlanta Vibe loves to go to that back row attack as well. Slow it down. Make a chance for your transition. Speaking of transition, Atlanta Vibe needs to win that game. Getting the push, pushing the points in transition to create those rallies. And then we talked about it. The two new players, you have Lazareva on your right side. She's incredible, an Olympian from Russia. And then Adin in the middle, Galahashiva just showing up on the blocking side, right on your screen, on you cue. Go. Six foot three out of the Czech Republic, NCAA all-time career blocks leader in the rally scoring era and has been a welcome addition once they sorted out her visa issues for head coach Todd Dagenet. Lively Thursday night crowd here inside Gas South Arena. A special hello to everybody watching tonight on Peace Sports Network, which in partnership with the Vibe announced this week it'll be carrying four of the Vibe's regular season matches, including tonight. The popularity of the game of volleyball is skyrocketing in the state of Georgia. This is wonderful news, not only for the Vibe, not only for the Pro Volleyball Federation, but for volleyball fans in the state of Georgia. Volleyball is a game that you get addicted to. The higher the level, it means more power, higher jumps, harder hits to dig behind. So no wonder it's already taken off with the level of uh, talent that we have here. Valkyries will serve it up. Shina Joseph coming off a season-high 16 points in that loss to the Supernovas. We'll get us started. Third matchup of the season between the Valkyries and the Vibe, and we are underway. Set short through the middle, and down for the first side out. Coach Dagenet said that was key, getting the middle going early. We need to hold the, the Valkyries middle, both in the middle right here. Fanny getting up for Monterey. And we talked so much about Magda Yelahash, if we can't neglect Shelly Fanning and the work she's done, the fifth year pro from Bader. Swing from the pin, slowed up, dog out, and kept alive. Punched over by Edmund. Oh, and she chops it back down. Make that member Mena. Member Mena going with the overpass. She got the ace to seal the deal in the last match point. Going up, showing strength at that net. Quick and fast. Member Mena coming off 13 points in the win over Omaha. 2-0 start. And the timing thrown off on that slide attack, making a 3-0 start to the first set for the Vibe. That was the right idea. You get a good pass. Carly Graham, the setter, goes right back to Kaz Brown. That's the player you need to get going because she just hits with such power. Back set. <laughs> Kept up from the back. That swing from Edmund, but just wide. 
Impressive dig off of one arm by middle blocker Fanning just to keep the rally going. Just taking it a little wide is Edmund on that back row attack. And Bolt 6 confirms it was an errant swing by Leah Edmund, though Tom Dagenet did tell us before the match, does want to be very intentional about playing through the back. A reset for the Vibe. They go short again. That one just popped up, but unable to be kept over. Side out Vibe. Already, we're seeing a little taste of your own medicine. We know Orlando strong in that middle. Five coming out really strong, saying, hey, we can do it too, getting both middles involved. And it was interesting in catching up with Amy Pauly yesterday. She said, we really want to be more deliberate working through the middle, but in both of those previous matches versus the Vibe, they, there was no Magda Yamahashiva to shorten the court. Hence with the dig. Now Lasta Riva steps into it but gets blocked. Have not seen that happen very often from Ana Lasta Riva, but Kaz Brown meeting her in the high rent district for the Valkyries point. Getting the close, Kaz Brown making the move. Extra great setup by outside, but putting that run straight to the floor. Kaz Brown coming off a 13 point effort against the Supernovas. Nice shot. Great layout dig though by Hens. Lekator member Mena cross court for the point. You can see the speed in both of these offenses. You saw with Carly Graham going nice and low, and then you follow it up by member Mena with another low flat attack. Well, member Mena had a memorable second start of the season versus Orlando February 12th, although she puts that into the net. Had a double double, 20 kills on a 311 hitting percentage, 10 digs as well. In this rotation, you can see Carly Graham going to the back row. That means you have Joseph entering the right side, a very strong blocker, as much as she is a good attacker. 5 3 5, over on two. That's covered well. And that one catches the court with a quick dump on two and the points from Abby Hansen and Michaela White. You can see the four saying, get up in transition, I'm ready for you. Nice tip shot dropping right over the blocker. And Michaela White, third year pro from James Madison. Makes it a one point margin in the first set. Nice. Overpass, kept up, joust at the net. Reversed on the bump set, over the double block and down. That's Adora Anai. These are early shots you see in the scouting report. Going deep corner. She recognized I had both blockers on her going, taking it to the deep. Knots this at five after the 3 0 start to the set for the Vibe. Adora Anai, member of the USA national team. She is as much of a cornerstone for this Valkyries franchise as you can have. What I love about Anai is that she was a multi sport athlete. Do you see that a lot with both of these teams playing? Basketball, soccer, track and field, she got it all. Nye once more. Quick wrist and the point for the Valkyries. Anai so strong in her attacking game, had 26 kills for her team in that last five set are coming out strong today. She was part of a season high 30 points for the former Utah Ute. Also had 21 points. In the Valkyries inaugural match of this season versus the Vibe in which they fell by Two points in the final set. Off the outside edge of the block and the side out for the Vibe. And coming from Shelly Fanning. It all started with a perfect pass by Member Bennett to keep the rally locked in to go to that middle attack twice in a row is Setter Monterey. Trust and Fanning's there. You're seeing this offense continuing to gel under the services of Marley Monterey at Setter. 43 assists, 11 digs in the win over the Supernovas, but. As a team, everybody was dialed in for the Vibe. They hit 41% of their kill percentage in that win over the Supernovas. We've seen Omaha. That's not easy to do. And when you have things clicking, and you, right there, you see Edmund stepping in on that block for the line shot. But the offensive game, you have Edmund, who was the kill leader in the last match, put row, back row kill numbers, and then you add Lazareva. Come on, some offense you're seeing with Atlanta Vibe. Oh, reversed, and a nice change of speed there by Joseph. Pancake out of there by the Vibe, and they'll get the point. Joseph thought she had caught the seam on that change of pace. A great defense in the back by the Vibe, and now Atlanta opens up the 9-6 lead. The layout pancake right there. Get you some of that, Morgan Hentz.
if it's, is it possible for Morgan has to be an underrated defender? Even yes. though she's an, a USA national teamer, that one is crushed by Joseph. She gets her come up. It's, you know, it's one of those things. It's like an offense alignment for football. Yeah. You almost want to be quiet in the game. That means you're doing your job. You have Morgan Hentz. Almost nothing gets by her. She passes perfectly in serve, receive, and then defensively, just so scrappy. I think she can make some really difficult defensive plays look routine. Nothing routine about that swing from Leah Edmund, the preseason unanimous all-league selection with the kill from the pin. A PVF player of the week right there. Edmund showing it up, going cross court with the kill. One of several former Kentucky Wildcats spotlighted in tonight's matchup. Quick set and blocked. <laughs> oh, that feels good because you know Orlando wants to get Kaz Brown the ball. You could recognize that. She got two in a row off the slide attack. Fanning jumping in for the strong shot, taking a jump to her left. Uh, four bl blocks in the win over Omaha. That serve is long. Side out to the Valkyries. 11 to 8 now are scoring the opening set. One thing you'll see at the pro level is a lot of these players go for their wrist serve, going hard, strong, because if you give an easy serve to a professional team, they're going to put it right back on, down your throat. Popped up. La Sareva can't put it down. from the back that's turned away on the swing from Joseph back over shot calls <laughs> oh. and had some smoke to it you know I came to watch Jill Gillen play watching her live she went off 20 kills in the NCAA tournament to make her team beat an upset to the second ranked Kentucky yeah. she was a fan favorite just that cut shot she's got strong power and that we just saw that was a dot from the former Razorback sent across and the tool for the point from member Mena. Mena working the hand shot, recognizing she had the setter Carly Graham on her line, changing the shot going on the outside of her hand, taking the tool. Both Gillen and member Mena can jump out the gym. And I guess they awarded that point to the Valkyries. And Todd Dagenet wants to get an explanation from the up official, so it does go as a point for the Valkyries, 11 to 10. Something Amy Pauly did tell us is her team has been a slow starting passing team in the first set. Really wants to see that tighten up as they progress through that <laughs> season. And you cannot progress through that solo block in the middle from Kaz Brown. Ties us at 11. Kaz Brown holds about every record for University of Kentucky in about every category. Total blocks, blocks per set, showing that she's a powerhouse blocker at the net. Lasa Riva, one on one, cross court, down for the kill. You got Lazareva going to the deep corner. When you go one on one, a lot of times you try to work a seam or a deep shot to make it hard to defend. Just pure expertise in her game. Oh, there's so much of that. Tenth year pro out of Russia. Regains the lead for the vibe. Going to be fished out from the pin. And that one unable to be kept up. Point to the vibe. They rip off two straight to regain the lead. La Sareva, Tadejne said she sees the game at a different experiential level, and that has only served to benefit this Vibe team. Overpass. Swatted down. Point for the Vibe. Here's Magda Yelahashima. Look at the implementation of the scouting report. Set in the middle as much as possible. You saw with Fanny, now Yelahashva getting going in the middle. Great job, Monterey. Off platform, dug out, and popped over by La Sareva. <laughs> Almost a no look down the line. And to La Sareva, and she'll get the point. Lasareva finessing that one That's on the outside. Exactly what you just talked about. Trying to get the kill, make it easy. Vibe first to 15 here in our opening set from Atlanta. This is real pro volleyball. Have you seen the product that's out there? Have you seen the athletes? I, I don't even know if there's words to explain how I'm feeling right now. I'm just so excited and grateful to be able to do this right now. It's definitely really cool to be able to play professional volleyball. 
really cool to be able to be a part of the first year or something. No one takes for granted the opportunity that is here and present for us kids and people in general are really excited about for volleyball. I think it's the first time that it's actually happening and that it's done very well. And your jersey, I hope, is there a coach table with this? Yeah, no, okay, okay. sorry. <laughs> and that it's so accessible to everyone. I wish I had something like that. It's a really cool feeling to know that they have professional volleyball to come watch. It's about making an environment where you're happy to do what you're supposed to do. So that we build a, a journey and a path for future generations. the St. Patrick's Day edition. Here we're celebrating St. Patrick's Day for tonight. It is volleyball night. Chasse gets a chance. And she oh, doesn't miss. Nanadur gets it. Morgan hands for the job she's done. Keeping the fourth. Ooh, and a big block. Oh, no. Point in Atlanta. That block landed just out of bounds. Bell and the Vegas thrill come back to life. Time this season, 4 0 spurred by the bond to South Dam to a 15 11 lead here in set one. We talked with Todd Dash and A. Keeley, five head coach, about uh, the ingredients of those two wins versus the Valkyries. And he didn't want to dismiss them outright, but he acknowledged we're a different team, they're a different team, and what blueprints we used to get those wins earlier this season may not apply necessarily to tonight. But he also said, we're at the point of the season now in the Pro Volleyball Federation where teams are starting to get to know each other and have a better sense of their tendencies and strengths. We've already seen such compelling competitive matches. It's only going to become even more elevated, as Todd Dagenet noted, teams starting to figure each other out with a, a little more keenness. And you can see in the numbers, the hitting percentage, the kill percentage, it, they're dropping. It's all about the winning the long rallies. That transition game is so important, trying to get the ball to go down faster to stay out of the long rallies. Slide attack off the timeout. It's dug out by member Mena. Turned away once again from Joseph. Watch out, Ooh. Ethan. <laughs> Sorry, with the greatest of ease. He got that dig earlier in the rally and finishes off with the back row attack. So smooth. She shifts that back row attack a little bit to her right to give the block something different to look at coming up with a good net swing. Service here gives the side out to the Valkyries. Edmund coming off her seventh double-double of the Pro Volleyball Federation season. 12 kills, 17 digs versus the Supernovas. The service here right back from Orlando. Coach Dazne talked about if you get a five-point lead, that's a, a incredible lead and a hard one to come back. So right now, Atlanta Vibes feeling pretty confident. You have Lazareva going back to serve. She's always a back row threat as well. 17-12 vibe. Kept up high for an eye. Hence with the bump set. Member Mena has a lunge for it. Nice diving dig. And from the back, the point down for the Valkyries. Able to cover the core well. It's Jill Gillen. What happens at this level, the middle tends to hold with middle when it's a good pass. So the back row can open those areas. You saw Gillen just dropping in a roll shot. Eighth overall pick in the inaugural Pro Volleyball Federation draft by <laughs> Omaha. Just traded to Orlando. Lasta Riva swinging with authority. That ball was slightly underset, so what Lazareva did was speed up her approach to get the ball before it dropped be below that tape, getting a nice fast kill. Makes it 18 13. Ooh. Oh, was that an ace? It is. Watch up top from Lekator member Meta, and she cuts it loose. Remember, Mene was the server at the net the last time or by beat Orlando. So doing it up, showing that, hey, you still have to think about me. Pounds that into the net. Wipes out the seventh days of the season for the former Pitt Panther. 19-14, Vibe. Can Vibe continue to pass to get that offense running? Ronnie Graham with the service. That one backspins wide for the side out for Atlanta. This is why you set your middle early on. Set her Monterey on your screen. Did the lean back. 
middle held with middle and then dished it low and flat out to Edmund, giving her a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. You know, I don't bet, Andy, but if I did, I'm gonna <laughs> bet Edmund's coming up with the kill with the one-on-one -on -one opportunity. A unanimous preseason all league, and I think that's a popular sentiment. Five open up the six-point edge, a nine. Tapped over. Played to the back. Chance for Atlanta. Does that catch the line? It does. Shelly Fanning so experienced. Just dropping in a, a tight top spin shot, using her wrist that snap over to create that ball to land inside the court. Couple of blocks for Fanning, and now a kill. Here to make it 21 14 5 timeout for the Valkyries. Vibe feeling confident in their game. Things are working. You can see the pass. Monterey, the setter, is at the net running the offense. That's really hard to stop when you're producing one-on-one -on -one opportunities for your hit attacks. You noted coming in, Keely. No team yet. The Pro Volleyball Federation has won five in a row. Columbus has won four straight. Atlanta's won four straight. And with parity across this league, Ripping off five straight wins, that's not an easy task, but you can tell the vibe playing with that confidence and cohesion after the win versus Omaha and picking that up here at Gas South Arena with a 21 14 set one lead. And you can see Orlando really trying to get something going, but it's the passing game and the side out game for Atlanta vibes really working. When you have a strong middle attack, Monterey's doing an excellent job. And then you add Edmund, Lector member Mena, and then Lazareva on your right side. Who do you stop? Who do you set up at? I like that poster, by the way. Hard to disagree. Of course, Orlando, he plays the Todd Dagenet vibe head coach, knows well, former longtime head coach at UCF. Tonight's all-time winningest coach, 308. Accepting the head job for the inaugural season with the vibe. Casey Evans, she can let it rip from the back. The former Georgia Bulldog puts it in play. And a frustrating <laughs> first set for Joseph. It has been the opposite of that for Leah Edmond. And she cranks one for the kill. This is one of the keys of the game. Win the transition game out of system. Leah Edmond able to power a shot cross court. Largest lead of the set for the vibe. Nye has that slowed at the net. Dish once again to wow. Edmond, and she is dialed in. Keely Evelyn. Leah Edmond, second consecutive kill from the outside. That was one of those shots where Edmund got a kill on the previous attack, so she goes right at the same spot, forcing two defenders to cross. Evans at the service line, a Georgia grad. Mm -hmm. Fans are loving the service run. Side is a free agent by the Vibe after the inaugural draft. Very heavy swing, as we have seen. Georgia's all-time leader in sets played. She'll put it in. <laughs> a very clinical kill and a terminal swing by a nine. Oh. She just makes it look so smooth. Just incredible in the set delivery by Graham. Keeping the tempo, which is like a lower set, a nine had the confidence the ball would arrive, taking a hard inside power shot. Orlando's first ever Pro Volleyball Federation Player of the Week. She earned that in week three. 23-15, five on top. Has had some stamps in her passport. South Korea, Turkey, Puerto Rico, Ukraine, Greece, where she won a league title in 2023. Now part of the inaugural Pro Volleyball Federation season. But too much muscle through the middle by Fanning. Gives set point for the vibe. Yeah, how nice is this? So Anai goes overseas, you have to learn a couple languages. So your game is more, watch what I do, not what, what I say, because it's a different language. So you're back in your native language, discovering your voice again, as Coach Pauly says. Quick set, swatted over, kept up and pushed across by Joseph Edmund. Wow. Whoa, great <laughs> defense down the line. Carly Graham getting hands on it. Vibe trying to reload for a first set victory. La Sariva, that's punched up by Anai. Now Gillen, oh, hand slaying out. 
Vibe having to earn this first set win. La Sariva with the roof, but she caught too much hand on it. Point to the Valkyries. What a rally, but Orlando earns the point. This is a game of defense. Incredible defense going left and right. Lazariva just taking that ball above, behind her head. Smiles. Yep. And she's pretty confident with the lead her team has, so you can smile in that moment. That is a smile of someone who knows I didn't get away with it. <laughs> Over on two. Great layout by Graham. Lazariva can't rattle that through the double block. And a net violation gives the point to Orlando as they continue to stave off a pair of set points for the Vibe. Great job by setter Carly Graham coming up tight, trying to pop it back. Fanning reached over on that set, so it's called a back row a violation. 24-17, here's Michaela White. An ace for the first ever point in Valkyrie's history against the Vibe. Defense tightening for Orlando. Ooh, ooh, that one a little wide though. And the attempted line shot by Joseph and the Vibe take the first set 25 to 17. Clearly out on ball six. And pretty clearly a dominant first set by the Vibe. 25 17. Second set coming up after this. Team can, ways that her team can 
look more polished and get off to a better start. You will see probably early on, Kaz Brown will get the rally going, get this attempt. You saw two in a row to start off that first set. Now we're in the second set, but the middle is still your strength for Orlando. You have to pass the ball better to get both middles going. We didn't see the, the Valkyries feed the middle too much in that first set. Yeah, but nearly got the ace to begin the second. Another quick set and swatted down for the point. Fanning, same way the first set started. The kills for Shelly Fanning, the former Baylor Bear. It's one of those things, if it's working, why stop? So you have Fanning getting the transition ball for the kill. Kill in. Got that blocked. Lasareva covers the corner. Lasareva taps it over. Nice. And a point for the Vibe. Member Mena into the hands of Shina Joseph. And the violation gives the Vibe the 2 nothing lead. We asked Coach Dagenet, what does it take for Atlanta Vibe to win? He said, our defensive game has got to be strong. Those long rallies are because Atlanta Vibe's picking up some strong shots. Overpass, joust at the net. Jump set, and Gillen with a big swing, but Hentz was there covering the side. Lasa Reva gets it down. Lasa Reva, she's got a lot of strength, but when she's airborne, she's got a lot of savvy as well. We've seen that now with her five double doubles in six matches. Just pure power. So running forward, Monterey reverses back, trusting Lasa Reva's there. Oh, there for the slide. The block by Levitor Memorena. She can jump out the gym, but not just for kills. You see Fanny go up with the setter, and Member Mena was like, hey, I'm here for it. Let me get this solo. <laughs> Turning away Kaz Brown to make it a 4 nothing start to the second for the Vibe. A prompt a substitution for Amy Pauley's club. One thing to watch throughout is if Setter Graham is running around the court, that means this passing for Orlando's not there. If Graham's at the net, we can see some middle attacks happening. Nice steps into it. And sails that line. And she was trying to pull that off. Just missed her target. Trying to go off the hands, but you saw Setter Graham run past the 10 foot line, trying to still deliver a ball and a nice set on that. But it's obvious where the ball's going. Blocks get a good setup. Results of the 5 0 start to the second set for the Vibe. Timeout for Orlando as our coverage continues after this. NCAA women's volleyball will never be the same. Students of the game will study this era for generations. But we are only getting started. Sign up for pre-sale news and more at NCAA.com slash volleyball. I lost the nail. That's why I'm like dumb, because I say all the, the wrong things. You know I'm screaming fabulous. Zero to start in the second set for Orlando, for Atlanta, which claims set one, 25-17. Leah Edmond back on the service line. Former Kentucky Wildcat puts it into the net. Oh, there is that coach point that you love talking about, Keely Evelyn. Call a timeout, service here on the very next serve. Coach Pauly says something's got to give right now. Let me go ahead and call that timeout, and hopefully we get a missed serve. Carly Scott now will wind it up from the service line, the former Michigan Wolverine. 
Coming off a season high 11 kills against Omaha. La Sariva. At the top of the hands on the swing from Adai. Flying in from that. the back, and that is clinical. <laughs> Leah Edmund. You can see Leah Edmond shift to the right to make that back row attack. She's not staying in the middle, the block's in the middle. So go ahead, shift a little bit to the right, giving a seam, putting it down as Leah Edmond. She doesn't need much of a seam. She got a big one, and she pounded it straight down for her fourth kill. 6-1, make it 7-1, Vibe, on the defensive point. Vibe are cruising right now. So you have the defensive game working at the block we just saw, shutting it down. Edmund out of the back row, just looking strong in this dominant Pro Volleyball Federation performance. Very complete start here to the match for the Vibe. Off the overpass, and that's tapped over. Yama Hashima made her Pro Volleyball Federation debut versus the Valkyries on February the 12th, coming off nine points in the win over Omaha. And again, just too loose in the middle there by the Valkyries. Yashiva produced this offense, that transition game, feeling confident as Monterey. There's just no angle for the Valkyries at offense. They're having to work for absolutely everything. A nine changes speed that's pancaked up and punched over. On the back set, that one finally goes down. Kaz Brown on the slide. It's one of those moments like, there you go. That's Valkyrie offense right there. You can see Setter Graham at the net, reversing that flow. You put a seam one-on-one. -on -one. It doesn't matter. Kaz Brown will get that point. Cass Brown, former teammates with the Vibes, Leah Edmond for a pair of years in Lexington, Kentucky. Member Mene crushes in cross court. That is a snipe by Lekator Member Mena. It's 100% the passing game for Atlanta Vibe is on point. Monterey's at the net, given one on one opportunities. That low flat set. Nice job, Member Mena. 9 to 2 Vibe here in the second set. Hence ranges over and tracks that down. The jump set. Nice having a tough go of it from the pin. Turned away from the back, but it corkscrews off for the point, Valkyries. That's the player you need to look for in that transition game. You have Anai going in that back row. She's ready for it. Nice job with Trust going right back to her. And Carly Scott transitioning from the sand to the court. Even Amy Polly told us she's jumping great, feeling herself out now and doing a much better job to help anchor and give depth to the Valkyries at outside hitter as Orlando has run off two straight. <laughs> wow, hands trying to flail for that, but too much from Anai. Anai, first team All-American and also second team All-American at Utah, showing power with some professional experience behind her. Averaging almost 20 to half points per match. 60 year pro from Utah. Three straight runoff by the Valkyries, chance to make it four. Right back to Anai, trying to finesse that over the block, but turned away for the Vibe point. Yeah. Nobody in college volleyball was more prolific in the rally scoring era in blocks than that one, Magda Yelahashiva. Coach Dajanay just so happy to get Yelahashiva on her team, showing that she's got the eye for the block to make the net shorter, as he said. Quick on two by Kayla White. If you just get the pass somewhere toward the net, this is the middle attack the Valkyries have. Graham's like, okay, now we're rolling. Let's get something going. Kayla White, former honorable mention, All-American out of James Madison. And she, like several of her teammates, spends her offseason as an assistant in Division I NCAA Volleyball. I'll tell you about that in a moment. As Edmund steps into it, rattles it through the double block. For the point. And Edmund continuing to play in rhythm from the outside as we take another look. Edmund is like, I want to hear that story, Andy. Let me go ahead and finish this point quickly. But you give me the Kanye West, I'm going to let you finish. <laughs> yes. As the service here gives the side out to the Valkyries. So like we said, Michaela White, perfect timing, because she'll be serving it up for Orlando. But she is an assistant at American University. The head coach, Ahin Kim, 
happens to be the husband of her head coach of the Valkyries, Amy Pauley. And that was also her first ever club coach in the DMV. How about that? You just love the connections in volleyball and what a better player. She's amazing out there, but it's the personality she's got also eventually wants to be a head coach one day in the college game. Another side out makes it 12-7 vibe. Marley Monterey. With a season high 47 assists, 17 digs in the five set win versus Orlando in mid-February. Yellen winds up but gets it rejected. Blocked in the middle by Fanning. It's one of those moments Fanning remembers the hard shot cross court by Anai. Jumping in on that, taking away the angle, feeling that is Fanning. Quite a performance so far from Grace Fanning. And that one sails on wide. Another point on the miscue by the Valkyries. For Orlando, it's finding offense. You need Joseph on that right side, just missing a little wide, but that was the right choice by Setter Graham. Now, Shina Joseph has had a season high in kills, Keeley, each of her last two matches. Had 15 of them in the loss to the Supernovas, but Shina Joseph, one of the veterans for the Valkyries, just has not been able to get into the flow of this match. And you can see if you can get, that's a sweet hit, just missed it a little wide by Brown, but that middle attack and then Joseph on the right side, but Vibe doing an excellent job on the service line, playing into their strengths as a block and a defensive team. Off the overpass, that is shouldered up by Joseph and from the bench kept alive. But the quick set, it chops straight down. That middle has been open and inviting for the Vibe. And another point for Fanning. You play a game as a blocker, where would you go if you get a one-on-one -on -one opportunity? So you go setter at the net, Monterey's running the game. Do you try to stay with Fanning or do you have to go to the outside? You have Edmund or Lazareva on your right. That is the decision as the middle blocker. Fanning taking advantage for that cross-court, cross-body attack. And that was kind of the knock and the vibe in the early season. They just didn't have a lot of strength in the middle, but now with the addition of Yelahashiva, Fanning starting to come into her own. It's a much more complete offense that you may see from the vibe as this Pro Volleyball Federation season continues. Maybe one reason why they're atop the table. Their record of eight and three and trying to make it five in a row. Another slide attack carried away. <laughs> Big swing, but it's wide from Las Areva. Andy, you know you're good if you even think about going for that inside cross-court shot. Look at that. That's a sharp angle. You just know your game. You're like, I can hit that. I love the confidence. It's just taking a little wide, but you just know you're good. That is the confidence, I presume, that only comes from playing in the Olympics like Ana Lazareva has with the Russian Olympic Committee in 2020. Ten years of international experience. Five doubling up the Valkyries in our second set. Teeler. La Sarina once more, but this time blocked. <laughs> Kaz Brown was ready for it. As an attacker, you're like, oh, okay, I just missed it by a foot. Let me go for the same shot. But the Kaz Brown at her level as blocker said, you're gonna probably gonna go cross court. Let me hold strong to help with that. All-time school record holder in Kentucky in solo blocks. Edmund, all-time leader in Kentucky history in career kills. And guess who's got another one for the vibe? Edmund testing the court as an attacker. After you attack, you recognize where defenders are to put that in your memory for the next attack. Find an open court is Edmund. And 25 points in the last meeting with the Valkyries. Service line becoming a little shaky here for the vibe in the second set. It hasn't cost them, still up seven. You can see Edmund from earlier matches to now. She's trying to change her serve up to show a different look. It's hard to change mid-season. Yeah. The outside hand of the block and away. Azani Teeler, the rookie from Kentucky. Teeler getting up was on the national championship team for Kentucky. Played in the middle and then shifted to the right side in her last season at Kentucky. A fan favorite oh, yeah. just brings the energy. 
Something Amy Pauly said, she's brought a spark, especially in that Omaha match. Shelly Fanning, the sign out for the vibe. So in case you're wondering, we're not stuck on repeat here. Rosani Taylor, Cass Brown, Leah Edmond, Allie Linehan is on IR, but that is four Kentucky Wildcats represented on these rosters. Coach Skinner's got to be so proud of, <laughs> of his alumni. Did I miss anyone? I think I got them all. He'll probably text me and be like, Keely, you missed this person uh -huh, and this person. 18-12 uh -huh. <laughs> vibe on top as Fanning comes out. <laughs> Yossi Presley will come in for the first time. Second year pro out of Baylor. Former National Player of the Year with the Bears. As she soars up but gets <laughs> it blocked. Michaela White. It was right there, or did that go down for the side out? It did. We got a tough angle of it, we'll see it again. Yasi Presley. Going power straight through the seam. That ball went down so fast, it was one of those things. Which side yeah. is it on? Wow. Beating Presley once more, and another point for the former National Player of the Year. You talk about someone who ran at the Big 12, Yasi Presley. Incredible game, the high jumper, the power attack. She has a little more height on the attack than Lekator member Mena, but Mem Mena is much better in that back row game, is putting both players together. 20 to 12, five on top. Yossi Presley initially signed by Omaha, then was waived, signed two days later by the Vibe. <laughs> La Sariva finds the CD. If you just watch Lazareva track a ball, she's able to adjust based on the shot she wants to go for. She let that ball go over her right shoulder, stays low, still able to make that line shot with her snap. Another timeout, Orlando Divine can do no wrong. A 25-17 victory in the first set of nine here late in the second. And this has been, like we said, Ken, a very complete performance from Atlanta. Doing so, lo and behold, on the first ever telecast of Atlanta by Volleyball on Peachtree Sports. And a big hello to all of our viewers tonight on the Peachtree Sports Network. Four, five regular season matches that you will see on Peachtree Sports Network in the state of Georgia. It is hard not to love this type of high level volleyball. You watch once, you like become a fan of one player, and then after watching it twice, you're like a fan of the team. You know, it's one thing, of course, you, you want to support the league, but purchase tickets, but now it can go out to, to people that cannot make it here in the stands today. So pretty impressive where volleyball is going. And as a little girl that dreamed one day of playing professional volleyball and did, I had to go overseas to do it. This is just a dream come true. And not only that, but one of the inaugural Pro Volleyball Federation franchises, Keely, in your hometown, yes. uh, Grand Rapids. That has been kind of the thorn in the vibe side. Still have not beat Grand Rapids. Responsible for two of their three losses. <laughs> season record against the Valkyries to 3-0. 21-12 Atlanta here in the second set. A nine. And off the hands and down. Too much smoke on that swing from Leah Edmond. I'm loving this back row attack game by Edmond shifting her shot. So one time we saw her go right back, shifting it to the right. This one toward the left because we know the block stays in the middle if Vibe's middle goes right in front of the setter. Loving opening that net for an attacker like Edmond. Chris Watson, the veteran, subs in for the first time off Todd Dagenet's bench, the former Clemson Tiger. I have a lunge for it. La Sariva. Over. The game of Watson is owning the net. We saw she was a strong blocker, just all over it, ready for that overpass. A little easy dump by Karis Watson, who did not play in the previous three matches. Some run here late in the second. Vibe up 23 to 12. La Sariva got hands on it. Once more from the pin. This time it's Hens laying out. Presley, <laughs> but that is wide. 
<laughs> That's another incredible shot. So you're trying to go cross court around the 10 foot line when you're sort of off the net. Good idea. I love the power, just taking the little wide. It takes a lot of skill and a lot of confidence. Yes. Try to pull off that shot from Yasi Presley. And off the hands and down for set point for the vibe. Harris Watson with another kill. Watson knows to get back in the starting lineup. It is producing offense using Monterey setter, giving her a ball to show she can put up some points. 24-13 vibe. Popped up, a nine, turn back, and that's the set. There will the boundaries in that second set. They started off 5-0. Never took the foot off the pedal. It's a 25-13 thumping in the second set from Gas South Arena. Ending with the double block and the pin. Two sets to none, five in front. Have you seen the product that's out there? Have you seen the athletes? I, I don't even know if there is words to explain how I'm feeling right now. I'm just so excited and grateful to be able to do this right now. Well, it's definitely really cool to be able to be playing soccer volleyball. Really cool to be able to be a part of the first year or something. No one takes for granted the opportunity that is here and present for us. Kids and people in general are really excited about for volleyball. I think it's the first time that it's actually happening and that is done very well. And your jersey, I hope, is your coach okay with this? Yeah, no, no, okay, it's okay. <laughs> and that it's so accessible to everyone. I wish I had something like that. It's a really cool feeling to know that they have professional volleyball to come watch. It's about making an environment where you're happy to do what you're supposed to do. So that 
rebuild a, a journey. Yep, South Florida, Atlanta, the seat for tonight's presentation of the Pro Volleyball Federation, 25-17, five over the Valkyries in set one, even more resounding in the second, 25-13, five, as they've been for a fifth straight win on the season. Andy Demetri, Keita Evelyn, great to have you with us. Well, Atlanta's at the top of the Pro Volleyball Federation standings for a reason. Evidently, that was a very emphatic first two sets for the Vibe. You can see the passing numbers are there. 76% are in system. The setter is at the net, while you have Valkyries only with 28% can run an offense. The offense numbers are on Vibe's side, and they're doing an excellent job slowing down the attack for Orlando. Yeah, passing defense, hitting efficiency, it's all been there for the Vibe. But bear in mind, the Valkyries pushing the Vibe to five sets in each of the first two meetings. There's simply too much talent on the other side of the tape. Third set is going to set a big tone, I think, for us to come. 34 kills have come out of Atlanta Vibe. That back row attack is really working. You see Edmund going right and going left. I think the setter Monterey is doing an excellent job for Atlanta Vibe. Now, this is a team that's loaded, and they're just showing why they are the number one team in the league right now. Well, the Valkyries, though, are not out of it yet. As they soon as you get back into the win column, but again, two sets to none, five on top of the Valkyries. Third set coming up after this. volleyball have you seen the product that's out there have you seen the athletes i i don't even know if there is words to explain how i'm feeling right now i'm just so excited and grateful to be able to do this right now it was definitely really cool to be able to be playing such volleyball it's really cool to be able to be a part of the first year or something no one takes for granted the opportunity that is here and present for us kids and people in general are really excited about for volleyball 
I think it's the first time that it's actually happening and that it's done very well. And your jersey, I hope, is there toaster say with this? Yeah, no, it's Okay, it's okay. <laughs> and that it's so accessible to everyone. I wish I had something like that. It's a really cool feeling to know that they have professional volleyball to come watch. It's about making an environment where you're happy to do what you're supposed to do. So that we build a, a journey and a path for future generations. volleyball everyone's very confident in their game the level going out and you're right the more and more you play against each other you learn the game the advantage Atlanta has today is two new players Orlando has not seen are in the offense and in that lineup so given a definitely a different look and you stabilize in that setter posi position with Monterey just getting the rhythm going you can see the rhythm with Fanning's clicking Edmund and their different locations of back row attack overall number 21 yeah, on your screen Monterey is running the excellent show yeah, Marley Monterey the rookie out of Florida also played beach volleyball with UCLA and it shows you the depth of time dash they have at center that he had both Monterey and Tori Stringer and last week dealt to Columbus but as he told us before the game Tori deserved to be playing some, and is playing really well and running that show well in Columbus, but Marley Monsere has also made herself very valuable as the showrunner for the Vibe as the Valkyries get set number three started with a point. And you see it's a pass at the net. There you've been waiting for it. Just a transition kill with Michaela White in the middle. And correct me if I'm wrong, Keely. This is the first time Orlando has led in this entire match. Quick set, thumped down, kept up. A nine from the back. Hands, yeah. Several pancakes already for Oregon Hands. A nine. What was the difference is that the blocker, Michaela White on Fanny, jumped to the cross body attack. So jump to her right. That caused the dig by the Libero Murphy to keep the rally going for that eventual back row attack. But it was the blocking change with Fanning was a difference for that dig. 2-0 star for the Valkyries. That was quickly erased on the cross court finish by Masarima. Oh, so pretty. This is why passing is so important. You go at the net. The middle now will hold with Fanning, given they seem back to Lazareva for the cross-court kill. And as we had noted, the Vibe were pushed to five sets by the Valkyries in the first two matchups. But in both of those meetings, the Vibe did not yet have Ana Lazareva. They didn't have Magda Yelahashiva either. Yeah, adding those different players, solidifying your set of role because Vibe was going back and forth with Dilfer Stringer in the lineup with Monterey, but now you have a cohesive unit staying together. You are seeing it paying off in practice now to a match. Ignited it to a thunderous swing there from the pin by Gillen. Let's just take a moment. Gillen oh. just graduated from Arkansas, going against Lazareva, an Olympian getting out. A tool shot on that's one of those moments you want to like posterize that he is quickly becoming a fan favorite in Orlando La Sareva steps into it off the top of the hands now Joseph turned away chance for the Valkyries to get reorganized but blocked instead so discipline out the block here's Watson getting all over with Presley now that's a wall looking at you by Joseph <laughs> Chris Watson, who debuted in this match late in the second. Yasi Presley getting some more playing time after not playing in the previous three matches. <laughs> and a point awarded to the Valkyries there. Oh, Kaz Brown just comes in. High hand going for the fast power shot. Blockers just a little too eager reaching over to get that net violation. Boy, you see that shadow 
<laughs> cross in the line in Kaz Brown. You know you're going to have to jump on that grenade, though Joseph sends that into the net. You got Presley going in the back row. Edmund is now shifted to your front row for a vibe, but Kaz Brown is still in your front row for Orlando. Edmund had to reach for it. Centered up for a nine. Another sprawling dig by Hens. These are the kinds of rallies you're seeing more and more across the Pro Volleyball Federation. Terrific defense, terrific action. La Cereva, though, sends it long. <laughs> These are the rallies we love. Good defensive plays. The scrambles, the pickup on the digs. Love it. Just La Cereva taking that one long. Just overcooked it to put the Valkyries back ahead. Atlanta's held its last three opponents, Keeley, below a 140 attack percentage. They really ratted it up the defense. Almost an overpass. It's swatted over. And now the timing thrown off on that slide attack. Point to the vine. You got to do it, though, Andy. You yeah. have to run that middle transition. So I like the choice by Carly Graham going right back. Yeah, something Amy Pauly talked about, that they have to win the transition. They also need to get their blocking numbers up, and we haven't seen too much of that. Her goal is three blocks per set. Lately, that has dipped down to about 2.4, and that has not been a reliable source of points so far for the Valkyries. They weren't able to ricochet that up, and the Vine regained the lead. You see Yossi, Yossi Presley in the middle back just getting that pass going. She knows to get a, in a starting role, she's going to have to produce some passing consistency. And you can see that Fanning getting the shot all because it was a good pass. Yossi Presley, three kills in the block in the win over the Supernovas after not appearing in the previous five matches. La Riva hammers it. Did it catch hands? No. Five think differently. Five players. Going to Coach Dagenet, trying to get him to use the challenge call. Will he do it? I'm not seeing a touch, though, live nor on the replay. Hold us up briefly. And we will have the review. Call on the court. No touch. Valkyrie point. We'll see if it withstands the rigor of review. One last point about Yossi Presley, former National Player of the Year, five-time All-American with Baylor. The Bears were playing TCU in a Big 12 match. And during warm-ups, Yossi Presley hit a ball so hard, it broke the laptop of TCU's volleyball media relations director, completely cracked the screen. So Yossi Presley may not know, but she owes someone a laptop. Yes, and maybe she should sign it as I'm seeing a touch off of yeah. this. I'm seeing some pinky motion on it. But if you break a laptop, that's like you sign it and then just take it home and be like, hey, remember this moment. You want to sign it and you want to frame it and <laughs> put it in the glass case for all to see. And hopefully you have Apple Care. Call is overturned at <laughs> that too. Point to the vibe, so now 7-5 Atlanta. Ooh. Sariva, keep it in front of him. Blow to the cross toward the back. And that <laughs> time, the slide attack goes down for Brown. We've seen the Valkyries try to hammer that slide attack. It's been less successful than uh, more successful tonight, but that one was dialed up well. You got two in a row. You're at the net. You can go back to Kaz Brown. She's going to come up with one of those kills. Just incredible low flat set delivery by Monterey. This is a, a flat ball on the pass and then a faster set out, dropping the ball slightly inside. That's the delivery. Great job, Edmund, creating your seam. That's yes, poetry in motion by the former Wildcat, Leah Edmund. 8-6 vibe. Sent across by Monterey and sent over and down through the middle. You just want to clap, Coach Polly. Way to get your team back on track on the passing game. A setter can only slam tip when you get a solid pass. Graham's been waiting for that all match. Over Rice Owl, Carly Graham, who's seen more playing time over the last month to serve it up. We have yet to see Wilma Rivera. Valkyrie's other setter tonight. And 
and they'll be punched up by White. Points to the vibe. Edmonds feeling her game right now. Strong attack. She's recognizing the spots open on the court. Coming up with a right side attack right before she goes back to serve. Edmond up to 14 points. <laughs> White had to wait on it. Had a lot of torque on it, but there was a block from White. She was waiting to pounce on Edmond. This is where experience comes into play. You have three years pro recognizing Edmund shifting to the right or left. She's not staying middle up the gut. So White took a step to her left to set up that strong block to clamp down. She had four blocks, 10 block touches against Omaha last time out. First ever James Madison player to sign a professional volleyball contract. The year it's been athletically in Harrisonburg, Virginia. And the men's basketball team playing in the NCAA tournament. La Riva restores order for the vibe. Yeah, I remember going overseas. American sports are just different. Lazariva's probably enjoying March Madness, just getting started. The first time playing professional volleyball in America. Makes an 8-10 vibe. Ooh. And the ace. Didn't see that one coming from Shelly Fanning. Jill Gillen knows she is the serving target when she's in the front row as the passer and also has to turn to attack. Fanning just placing that ball perfectly. Shelly Fanning did have a season high three aces against the Valkyries back in January. That one is pounded long by La Sariva, had to negotiate a tight angle. And the side out goes to the Valkyries. It all started with a power attack by Joseph. Went right at the chest of Admin to create the scramble. But there you go. That's some offense work in Lazariva taking that one out of bounds. But offense is looking better. Lazariva snaps it down. Side out on Lazariva. You just want all young players to watch how Lazariva plays the game. She's very calm and confident. She knows if I just missed one, give me another one. I know exactly where I'm taking it. Signed in the summer, activated on Valentine's Day, so missed the beginning of the season. That one's bumped up from the net by Monterey and pushed long by Hens. Reversed. Joseph, Lazariva was waiting. Lazariva, can she finish it off? Mm -hmm. And... She can. A transition dig to attack. She did a, a reverse pop, a cushion move to keep that ball off the net, and then taking it right toward, right back where the setter Graham is. Yeah, so it redirected a bit, and that changed the angle for Graham. She couldn't make that reflex dig from the corner. And now the five have opened up the three-point lead in set number three. for the vibe tonight. Monterey just had that in her pocket, waiting for the right opportunity. Saw it, taking it over, dropping it right in front of Graham. Momentum is shifting to the vibe side. It forces the Orlando timeout. 13-9, vibe up two sets to none and up here in the third. Thrill because one of their best players is also one of the best players in the world. We get a chance to see Alicia Glass Childress laser that goes over. Alicia Glass Children's helped get that nice Vegas looking for their first set of the day. They've got it for Grand Rapids. Glass Childers with a sneak attack. Sour Glass Childers Bell. And the Vegas Thrill come back to life, winning each of the last three sets. The wait is finally over. A concept years in the making becomes a reality tonight. We have stars that are sure to make a splash in terms of heads. There are stars everywhere you look. No secret that tonight is going to be epic. Prepare to make history. And we are underway. And what a start. And a serve for White. Picks out Nana Miller. Just so Gear up with the official pro collection apparel today. Available exclusively at renathletics.com and provolleyballshop.com. NCAA women's volleyball will never be the same. 
Students of the game will study this era for generations. But we are only getting started. Sign up for pre-sale news and more at NCAA.com slash volleyball. 13-9 here in our third set, Adrian Dimitri, Keely Eagle, and Great Dabby Wiggins as the Vibes seek to do something no other franchise has done in the young history of the Pro Volleyball Federation. Just win five straight matches. It's given the parity across the league, certainly worthy of a salute. Popped up. <laughs> oh, and blocked. That was emphatic, maybe the most emphatic block of the night from either side, and it came from Shina Joseph, the Canadian national teamer. Joseph recognized that set was low and in size, so took the cross-court shot right away from Presley. It's been a struggle tonight for the sixth-year pro, former Florida Gator Shina Joseph. She gives it right back to the vibe on the side out. Shina Joseph, a veteran. She's played in France, Japan, the Philippines, Taiwan, Bulgaria, we noted native of Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, and I love the fact that her father is a retired member of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Yes, Shina Joseph's dad, folks, was a Mountie. Yes. Love it. A lot of respect there in a house of discipline as well. Just, she's got it, so you should be proud, Dad. She often enforces things from the outside. For the Valkyries. Oh, and an ace for Orlando. You know, they had nine aces against the Vibe when they met in Orlando in January 26th. It might that be able to spark them here in the third set. One thing Coach Dazzini said, the competitive spirit or of Orlando is united. Gillen is on the service line right now. She can produce that run that is much needed right now for the Valkyries. Polly described her as a firecracker, but unable to get it over the tape. You can just feel a vibe with very a confident service game and then in their blocking and defense as well. You just need that middle attack going, and you'll take a miss serve if you're yeah, Orlando. Doing miss serves here, side out for the Valkyries. 15 13 Atlanta here in our third. Kaz Brown will tee it up for Orlando. Twice was a member of the USA Collegiate National Team. A teammate at Kentucky with Leah Edmond. That one sails long. I remember when I it was in Spain, I had a coach who would throw a clipboard at any time you missed a serve. So just that type of environment. When you go back as a professional, you have two choices. Do I go hard with my serve or do I go easy and get, just get the ball really quickly back by my uh, the opposing team? Great stretching dig there from the back by Presley. Camped over by La Sareva. We play on. And slammed home. More of the story, you've got to go with your A game because there's got to be a level of fearless type of fight. Transition play right here. Michaela White. A little more success out of the middle for the Valkyries here in our third. They still trail by two. Oh, good set. Reverse to Joseph. The defense by Montserrat. Montserrat beating Fanning. That's covered by Anai. Anai trying to finesse that over the double block. Oh, Anai. Montserrat was waiting for it. Lost the Riva. Puts it away. Yes, the trust set back knowing Lazariva was on the side. Great set, giving some seam. Vibe had to grind for that point, but who else on a Lazariva makes it 17 14 Atlanta? Wow. White once again snapping that down, showing that quick wrist. The passing numbers are going up for Orlando. This is hopeful for the Valkyries. You got Michaela White with the power swing getting up for Graham. Good luck stopping that one-on-one. 6-4 -on -one. out of Riverdale, Maryland. James Madison University, Michaela White. La Sariva winds it up. White once again, Hence with the cover. 
Lazariva <laughs> cross court, hammers it home. Lazariva set herself up for that attack. She hit the previous one line, block shifts, and then she takes that inside cut shot power straight down. There are some outside hitters, Keely. You've seen them across this league. You've seen them playing internationally that are very kinetic and very violent in their swings from the outside. I don't think that describes Ana Lazariva. The, the amount of power that she produces, but she's so fluid when she raises up, when she swings, it really is something to watch. And her shot selection, so to, to be able to hit the shot, exact shot you want with that precision, Lazariva is definitely somebody special. Again, going through the middle. And the point to the vine. As it looks like, China Joseph had the net violation for Orlando. That's why it's so important to go with two hands if you're a back row setter at the net. You go with two hands, the referee assumes the ball was on your side. You have to reach with one. The referee sees that the ball was going over. Five trying to become the first of 20 in our third. And the point for the vibe as they reverse it to the near side. A point by Kiris Watson. Coach Dastanay has nothing but positive things to say about Watson. Her work ethic in the gym and practice now showing what she can do here in this match. She's been solid off the bench since coming on late in the second. Nice. Joseph, wow. <laughs> that was in rhythm and with force. That's one of my favorite plays right there. So you run your middle away and then run your right side slightly inside like a, it's back to or it's basically an inside ball. It produces a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Joseph getting a strong power shot. Big kill. And Shana Joseph now comes out 2017 vibe. In this four-match win streak, they've only dropped two sets, but now that margin closes to two on the Cass Brown block. That's an attack by Presley, just te testing power to power. She went up with a hard swing, checking to see Cass Brown. It was she penetrated, and Cass is like, yep, I'm over it. Now he's trying to build a potential match-saving run here. Gillen. Try once again, oh, to the double block and gets it through. It was the off blocker pickup on defense by Graham to pick off that off speed shot. That's how you do it. And off, finally off the hands goes Gillen. And Atlanta calls timeout with the deficit now one for Orlando, 20 to 19 in the third. Boundaries refused to go down quietly inside gas out. But really, you know, this is the point where I mentioned Keely last week we saw the first reverse sweep in Pro Volleyball Federation history. And today we might see <laughs> Atlanta vibe if they're able to continue and pull off. They're going to be the team with the most sweeps in the league. Ever since that sweep at home by Omaha in February 29. It's been spotless three plus sweeps with Todd Dashley and the five four straight wins. Trying to go 3 0 on the season versus Orlando. But Orlando, after they fell in the first set 25 17, 25 14 in the second, they're playing with a little more sharpness, a little more chemistry. And the scoreboard certainly bears that out. You can see the shot right away, taking away Fanning's attack. She's been quiet. If you take away that middle attack, here's Watson trying to get it going. But the blocking game has stepped up for the Valkyries defensively. That off blocker pickup we just saw by Graham. Long rallies, Valkyries are coming up with that point. Amy Pauley told us, Ross Theater team's blocking numbers go up. Amy for three percent. Previously, the associate head coach at Southern Cal, Amy Pauley, also spent time as the head coach of UAB. And we should note a former high school state badminton champion, Hinsdale South High School, which just so happens to be my old rival high school in the western suburbs of Chicago. Nice. We can let bygones be bygones. <laughs> Did that catch hands? Did it catch a line? Either way, 
It'll be a five point. Dropping that in, yep. Watson off behind the setter. Nice swing, that's exactly the point needed. You just need to create a little separation as the, the Valkyries are getting their game back on track. Efficient night for Kiris Watson. Here is Gillen from the standstill. Wow. Oh, and that's punched <laughs> over. And the tool and the point by Brown. They could not be denied. Terrific defense there by the Vibe, but too much Cass Brown for Orlando. Pure want to right there. Cass Brown was like, let me go ahead and stop that momentum. But I thought they had with that incredible scramble defensive play. 21 20 and Gillen to serve. Kamali Hiapo comes in for the first time for Atlanta. For Atlanta. First ball contact has been outstanding for the Vibe all night long. And Leah Edmund has been outstanding as well. It's a lean back set and then force out low and flat. Monterey given a perfect ball for Edmund to place power with power inside the court. Stretches the vibe lead to two, 22 20. Up to a nine. Fought off by La Sariva. Here comes Edmund again. And can that be tracked down? No. Leah Edmund with a second big swing. Edmund found her spot on the court. It's the seed between zone six, which is where Gillen is, and the zone one with the right back. Nice power shot going right off of Gillen. 23-25 timeout for Orlando as Leah Edmund notches yet another double-double. Gives her 15 kills and 11 digs for an eighth of the season. And the five, two points away from a sweep of the boundaries. You can feel the want to in that huddle. It's coming off the eyes of Edmund, knowing how important it is to leave a statement throughout the league that Atlanta Vibe is here. We had noted this at the top of the broadcast. Keeley did not think that that would be part of the conversation of the first two sets. It's trying to creep into it here in the third. This is amazing. Five, 12 and 0 this year. It's sets decided by two points. They have been able to close out much sets time and again. Although the Valkyries know they need to upend that history if they want to stretch out this match to a fourth set. Coach Dajane talked about loading a team with winners. So winning those tight sets are just what is in these players to fight hard to the end, going deep into the bench. Whitney Bauer getting a start on that service game. And you played Keely to go 12 consecutive sets, decided by two points, undefeated. That, that's, that's hard to do. Nye waits on it. Hayapo with the dig. La Sariva swooping in from the back. <laughs> and I had to lean back for it. La Sariva with the dig. And then changes speed. And gets the point. And it's match point now for the line. And Leah Evans starting to take over late in the third. La Sariva making the dig. A cross body set to give it to Edmund. The scramble is what you need. Vibe getting match point on that tip shot by Edmund. Leah Edmond up to 16 kills. Match point for the Vibe. 24-20 here in the third. Crowd on its feet at Gas South Arena. Continue in this rally. Edmund from the pin, and that one. Out, point five, sweep five, and rack up a fifth straight win for Atlanta. And they do so, Keeley, in emphatic fashion. 25 20 in the third, 25 13 in the second, 25 17 in the first. This was a clinical, complete sweep for the vibe tonight. Edmund just putting on 
the show, 16 kills, and finishing it off to get the match point. Atlanta 5 looking strong. It is the passing game that improved for Orlando, just not enough to pull off this win today. The five keep their top spot, nine and three, and the Pro Volleyball Federation, Orlando Falls to five and eight. Hope you enjoyed tonight's action wherever you were watching tonight from Gas South Arena. Andy Demetri, Keita Evil, and so long. Thanks so much for watching this presentation of the Pro Volleyball Federation.